So this interview is going to take place inside Linus and there's a very good reason for that and that reason is spelled rain. And you've just come back from a pretty torrid session I would guess behind the wheel uh, in pretty horrendous conditions out there. Please take us through that, that session or that, that run that you had in the rain. Yeah, like you say, it was uh, pretty horrible. It seems like it's been raining consistently now for a good couple of hours, and I gotta say, these are probably one of the worst driving conditions I've ever I've ever driven in. Um, and I was a bit nervous going out because I never never been here before in the rain, and never driven the GT car in the rain as well. But <laughs> luckily and unfortunately, I didn't get to do a lot of push laps. I think we did two laps, and then the rest of my stint, I think it was only maybe like an hour and a half, was just under full course yellow and safety cars. So not a lot of running, and we picked up a red flag in the middle of it. So got out, got half an hour of sleep, and then got back into the car with, with the safety car in place, and then we came in for a driver change. Yeah, but before that, when they actually let the field loose again, you came incredibly close to quite a bad accident. Take, take us through that, please. Yeah, that was uh, pretty <laughs> pretty scary, actually, because obviously we, we were at the back of the field, and when the restart came, came into place, uh, going on to the main straight, you were completely blind. I think I could see maybe five meters in front of me, but then the rest was, you know, it was impossible to see. So I, I called the pact and... Um, you know, I trusted my spotter and all the other drivers that they would keep it flat, and they did up until the start finish line where everybody braked. And I think there was a, a pile up and a three car accident, but I didn't realize until I saw a car on my right who just went past me, um, who obviously stopped. So I nearly avoided all of that. I think I was halfway on the grass because I had to go down from the banking trying to avoid everything. So um, yeah, that was uh, pretty scary, but you know, uh, happy to stand here today with a car in one piece. And right after that, just seconds after that, literally with other incidents taking place, they uh, they brought the back, they brought the race back under yellow conditions, which is exactly the state that it's in at the moment. Uh, do you back do you back that, or do you do you feel that maybe they should even red flag it? Um, I I I lean towards that because if, even now under the. Uh, the safety car uh, some some people including myself sometimes struggle to keep the car on track I was behind a GTLM car and every time out of the bus stop for like two three laps in a row uh, he struggled to keep it on track so you know the the conditions are very very difficult to drive out there and I think under racing conditions it's more or less impossible without having an accident so we'll see what what IMSA decides to do but uh, right now it's, it's very difficult out there and just shortly, can you uh, brief us a bit about the state of your race? Uh, some problems during the night. Um, yeah, just, just what's happened since you since you were last in the car last afternoon, basically. Yeah, you're right. I uh, <laughs> I did my stint, which went pretty well. You know, we, we were fairly quick, and I was happy with that. Then I had my dinner, went to sleep, and then woke up, and <laughs> all of a sudden the car started to fall apart. Uh, Obviously, we we had a bit of bad luck being being hit by another car in, in the GT class, which uh, caused the the clutch to uh, more or less break down. So we had to back it into the garage, and it took took the team three and a half hours of straight working to to get that clutch replaced. But you know, uh, a massive effort by by the guys to get us back on track. And yeah, now we just want to see this one off and uh, take the checkered flag for for them because they totally deserve that.